All right. All right, so welcome back to Visionary Academy for Leaders. I hope you guys are doing okay this week. We are already in the month of, at the end of the month of April. Wow. Did you guys not know that it was going to come this fast? So I hope you guys are just pushing along um, and enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. Uh, my name is Miss Michaela. Welcome back to Visionary Academy Leaders, where we learn to be great, not just on the outside, but in the inside, because it all works together, right? Um, so yeah, let's, we have a long class because we have to uh, focus on the pillar of thankfulness in one period. So um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we get started, I want to check in with you, make sure you're doing okay. Um, um, and I want to check, I want you to check in with yourself, um, since I can't physically be there to um, check in with you. Um, and one thing that I've been um, experiencing this week. And so when I experience something, somebody may have else experience something that it's all on you now. It's all on me now. You know, God has brought us out, um, brought us out of a lot of things this year and last year and the year before that. He has brought us out. He has brought his kids out <laughs> of the wilderness. You know, he has he has showed us things. He has taught us things. And now um, he is saying to me, and he may be saying to you as well, all right, it's up to you. You know, it's up to you to continue to do the things that I've showed you. It's up to you to learn from the things that I've, I, I've, I've brought to you. You know, it's all up to you to stay focused and make better decisions and choose wisely. You know, everything is up to you now. Um, and I just um, love the fact that even though it's up to us, God didn't say he would leave us. But, you know, once we get enough wisdom about ourselves um, regarding all these truths, regarding all these pillars, once we get enough wisdom about ourselves, um, you know, it's only so much we can do now it's besides make the right choice this time um, and do better, right? Like if you're going to get the tools that you need to get out of your, your worry, to get out of your situation, to get out of your depression and, and, and to get out of your the things that you are facing, if God provides you the tools and the wisdom and the word and the promises, it's up to us to continue now at this point with what he said so we don't fall back into temptation and we don't fall back into depression and back into these things um because we always know that this is just for a season you know and we always know i can put up my boundaries we always know that um we are um we are loved you know we always know that we are worthy of, of, of a promise. So these are things that we've been taught. And now since we've been taught, um, it's time to, it's time to execute. And um, I also put here, creativity and focusing is feeding my being. So the only thing that is feeding me, and when I say feeding me, not literally like coming into my stomach, <laughs> but when I say feeding me is I feel fulfilled. I feel like my day has been completed. I feel complete. So the fact that I've been brought so far now, the only thing that is making me fulfilled inside is creating. Like for instance, this right here or focusing on my crafts, you know, because it's just, it's just, that's the only thing that's fulfilling me right now. 
you know. Um, so I don't know if anybody else is feeling like that, but I'm definitely feeling like that. Like if I don't create or focus on what I'm supposed to be doing, then I feel like I didn't complete a task for that day. So right now, feeding my soul is being creative and uh, focusing on my craft. That's feeding my soul. And that's okay because I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not harming anyone. I'm just doing it one day at a time. And I'm being mindful of, you know, mindful of that. So um, at this point, I just want to pray that um, whatever you're experiencing, um, you just keep going. And I also want to pray that um, you stay on track. Staying on track is very, very, very difficult, especially in a world that is just everybody's just doing whatever they want to do. <laughs> so um, stay on track, stay focused. Um, and now that you have the tools to be greater than where you were before, um, you know, there's only one way and that's up. So, uh, yeah, I continue doing that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Pillar of thankfulness. So what is the meaning of thankful? Thankful is conscious of a benefit received. Well pleased. So... Um, there was a lot of meanings to thankfulness when I looked it up. But this one spoke out to me. This one spoke out to me because I like looking at words. I like word plays because words are very powerful, right? So when we look at the meaning of thankfulness, conscious, we're aware we're aware of the benefit. What is a benefit? What is a benefit? A benefit is something that you um, you can benefit off of. It's helping you, right? It's not just here just to sit there. It's here to help you. So conscious of a benefit received. Received is we already have it, you know? So that's, that's the beautiful part. We already have what we need to be thankful for. That's the meaning of thankful. So if, you're, if your foundation, if your foundation is rooted in the pillar of thankfulness, you should be already thankful for the things that you receive, no matter where you are in life. No matter if you're living on the streets, no matter if you are rich and living in a mansion, no matter if you're living in your car, no matter if you're living in with your mother or father, no matter if you are living with a friend, if you have the pillar of thankfulness rooted in your foundation of yourself, then you are conscious of the benefits that you received in that season. And this is how you beat depression. This is how you beat um, mental illness. This is how you beat um, all those things that you are battling with. When you have these pillars rooted in you, you, you begin to build your pillars higher and higher and higher and you become more rooted in them. So if we're already thankful for the things that we received, no matter if I'm living in my car, I'm thankful. Now the point is, the, 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 the problem is, we need to figure out what are the benefits that you know we received. So let's continue. So I ask you today in this class to pause this video. I want you to really pause this video. <laughs> and I want you to create a list of all things that you are conscious of that you have in your life and that you are thankful, thankful for. Sorry. Create a list of all things that you are conscious of that you have in your life right now that you are thankful that you have received. 
So I want you at this moment, right now, in this present moment, in this beautiful present moment at exactly 10 minutes and 15 seconds in this video, <laughs> I want you to create a list of things that you have received that you are conscious of in your life right now. I'm going to give you um, one minute, but you can pause the video if you need longer. Okay. All right. So on that list, I want you to evaluate your list. And I ask you today, is your list mostly materials? Well, really, truly, if you made the list, what is on your list? Is your list mostly materials? Is your list mostly things that you can buy instead of things you have no control over. For example, your breath that you breathe, the oxygen that comes out of your body and back into the earth, back into your body, your arms, your legs, your eyes, your ears, your heart, your brain, your bones, things that we have no control over. This is how we shift our mindset. This is why I said, when you have the pillar of thankfulness rooted in who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what season you're in, you will be thankful. Because guess what? If, if you don't have any oxygen, <laughs> you be gone, right? So it don't matter if I'm bro broke, if I got no money, if, if I don't got no oxygen, I can't get no money tomorrow, you know? I can't become rich overnight. If I, didn't, if I didn't have no oxygen, that wouldn't even be an option, right? If I had no arms, I mean, it, it, it's, it goes to the bizarre, but there's people out here really don't have arms. They don't have legs. They can't see. They can't hear. They have heart issues. They're be they have brain cancer. They have bone cancer. Their bones are old. They can't walk anymore. You know there's people out here dealing with these things this is how we shift our mindset once again. What's more important? Something I can easy, easily replace. For instance, if you put on your list, I'm thankful for my house. A house can get replaced, right? I can easily sell a house and get another one. Can I sell my fingers and <laughs> get it some more fingers? No. Can I easy, easily replace the lung, a lung? Can I easily, easily replace, replace a heart? These are things that God provided us for free. That's the beautiful part. <laughs> we didn't even have to pay for it. It's, it's, it's ours, right? 
the last bullet point is you are more important than anything else you are. That's why I said the pillar of truth. The pillar of truth tells you who you are. Did you know you are important than anything on that list? So if you didn't put you on that list, you missed the most important thing that you should be thankful for. You, you are worthy of life. You are worthy of greatness. You are worthy of everything that your heart desires because God created you perfectly and wonderfully, fearfully made. So if you are not on your list as a person that you should be thanking for, thankful for, then you missed a big part, right? Everything on this list, breath, arms, legs, eyes, ears, heart, brain, bones, those are all things that involve you. Those are all things that you are made of. So what's the opposite of thankfulness? And these are all the same definition, just different wording. That's why I like words. I spelled this wrong. I'm sorry about that, guys. So we're going to start there. Lack of gratitude. And these are things, and, and when, I, when I speak about this, this is things that I have went through personally. So I, I, I had to write it down so I can track my steps. And if I can track my steps, I can help someone else. Lack of recognition. Do you even recognize yourself sometimes? Sometimes we can have so many accomplishments and I even recognize it because we're always wanting more, trying to be on top. Um, not even recognizing we, we are great just by being here, right? Thoughtlessness. This is something that I dealt with. Um, do you even, did you even think about yourself? You know, when you're not thankful for something, you don't even think about yourself. It's like you're not even thinking that, hey, um, I'm tired. Maybe I should rest my body. Hmm, my, my mind is all over the place. Maybe I should slow my life down a little bit and, and take it slow, meditate, relax. Because I'm a human being, I have to take care of my body. Right. We're not even thinking like that. Or, hey, maybe um, it, uh, in more of my case, because I will tell you about myself because I, I, I don't really find any problem in it. Um, in my case, I didn't even think of myself. I didn't even I didn't even um, know I was possible of being anything, you know. I didn't even know what I was good at. I didn't even know my talents. I didn't think anything of myself because I wasn't even thankful for life, right? If you're not thankful for life, how can you even know yourself? You're not even studying yourself. Lack of appreciation. Do you appreciate yourself? When you put in hard work, do you tell yourself, good job? You did that. <laughs> okay, I see you. Do you tell your thing, tell yourself these things, <laughs> right? Because guess what? If we don't have a lack, if we have a lack of recognition, we don't think about ourselves, we don't appreciate ourselves, and we don't, we're not thankful for ourselves, we don't have gratitude. Guess what? Do you think you're going to have the same? Do you think you're going to have it for someone else? If you don't even recognize yourself as being great, how can you recognize the greatness in another person? 
It's going to be envy. It's going to be jealousy. It's going to be all these other things. No, if you don't even think about yourself, how can you think about someone else? If you don't even appreciate the things that you do yourself, how can you recognize and appreciate the things other people do for you? Everything starts with you. That's why the more you love yourself, the more you can love someone else. Because I'm full. I'm full. I don't need your love. Your love is a bonus. Right? My love for myself is enough. I am enough. That's where that, that, that quote means. That's what that quote means. I am enough. I'm enough just by being. You are enough just by being. All right. So let's look at the effects of the effects of being unthankful. You have a never enough attitude, the never enough attitude. Once again, this is something that I've dealt with. Nothing is never enough. It don't matter how many times they do it. It don't matter what they do. Nothing will never be enough. Because you don't even feel like you're enough. Because guess what? You're not thinking about yourself. You don't recognize nothing. You don't appreciate nothing. You're not thankful for nothing. So you will never, you will have the attitude where nothing is enough and you'll always feel empty. You'll have the I deserve it attitude. Like you just deserve everything that you deserve the recognition. You deserve everybody be talking about you. You deserve this. You deserve that. No. You don't deserve anything. You have to be thankful. Like the thing is, what I read about that is if you, um, if you think you deserve it, why would you be thankful, right? That's like kind of polar ends. Like you think that that's, I, I deserve that. So when you get it, why would you be thankful for it? You're gonna have a funky attitude, an ugly, nasty attitude anyways, regardless if you get it or not, cause you're not thankful for it because you think you deserve it. No, you have to be thankful for whatever you receive. Everything is thankfulness. That's why they say, praise God all the time, because any blessing you should be thankful for. There is no blessing you deserve. <laughs> no. Yeah, you may have put in the hard work, but you need to be thankful that you was even able to put in the hard work, right? Because you could have been in the hospital bed. You could have been sick. You could have been drunk and depressed somewhere. You know, like, you need to be thankful for even being alive and having another day to get it right. Or you have the all about me attitude. Everything's all about me. If I don't get it, then I'm going to be upset. And I read in that one is like basically, for example, when you take your kids to the movies and uh, they're mad because they didn't get no popcorn. <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> everything's not all about you. Or for instance, I can give you another uh, example if everybody does everything for everybody else and they happen to not do something for you, you know, are you going to have a funky attitude? No, who cares? God always takes care of me. So if they don't do it, that's okay. I still love you. I'm still thankful for you. You know, it's our mindset that affects our life. It's our mindset that affects our being. The way our perspective is, is very, very important. Perspective is life. Hmm. Perspective is life. If your perspective is out of focus, 
then um, you will be very, very in a wrong place. You, you'll be in a bad place. You have to have a right perspective in order to get through life because life is going to tear you down every time. It's hard out here. And in order to per- persevere, your perspective has to be on point because um, you are important. You are worthy. You are enough. So the things that people portray onto you, you have to have that mindset to persevere. When life throws a season towards you that is not what you expect it to be, you have to have a mindset to know that you are going to make it out. Regardless of how it looks at the end, it's all for your greater good. That's how your mindset needs to be. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of different Bible study because I do want to... Um, do a whole chapter because it has so many days. So what I did was um, I took a whole bunch of different quotes and scriptures from the Bible that had to do with thankfulness. So let's go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read what people are thankful for in the Bible. Um, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalms 118.1. So in this particular scripture, uh, this person is thankful for God's love. You know, God's love is enough for me. I'm thankful for that. All right, so in this scripture, let's go ahead and read this. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Besides them, the birds of the heavens dwell. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. Psalms 104, 10, verse 13. And the reason why I picked that scripture is because I just want to be thankful for this earth, right? It's beautiful out here. It's really, really beautiful. It's the mountains, um, the oceans. Sometimes when we want to get away, where do we always go? We go outside. We go look at the world. We want to get inspired. We got to, when we want to just get away and and free our mind, where do we go? We go to the ocean to hear the waves, to hear the rain outside. We step outside on our balconies just to get a fresh breath of air, to see the trees moving, swaying side to side to hear the birds chirping in the morning, to hear the frogs chirping at night. We go to the lake for a, a piece of a piece of mind. These are the things that are we should be thankful for, right? Do, does that cost? No. You can step outside and hear the birds in the morning. They're everywhere. And I like how every, where does it say it? They give drinks. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. Every animal has water. (laughs) Everybody in this world has water. Somehow, some way. God is good. All right, the Lord sustains him on his sick bed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Psalms 41 3. That's amazing, right? The greatest reason to be thankful. 
of restore, uh, restoration of health. Beautiful. I mean, literally, God can take everything away from me. If he can restore my health, I'm good. I'm good. That's how your mindset should be. All right, so I want you to pause this video and um, I want you to do your word. If you're new here, your word is basically reflecting on the scriptures and what we just learned today. And I always like the letter D, what do you feel compelled to tell God after today's reading? Write down your prayer. All right, so I'm going to continue um, because actually I thought the class would be longer, but um, right on time, actually. So your homework assignment, I just love this girl. She's just so cool looking. <laughs> she got her eyelashes, her mascara, I mean, her uh, eyeliner, her headphones on, and she's studying, okay? That's how I want to be. Okay, so, oh, sorry, going on a tangent here. Uh, your homework assignment this week is to choose two creative ideas from the list below. And I want you to make sure you do this homework because it's going to help you. I want you to write a letter. You can choose two of them. I'm just going to go over the list. You can write a letter and really write a letter to someone. Not to yourself. <laughs> write a letter to someone. Mail it or give it to them in person. And just be... And just write a thankful letter to someone, you know, express how you feel about someone. We rarely do that anymore, you know. So um, and the thing is, that's what I like about these homework assignments. They're not just homework assignments just to be doing. When you do things like this, this this brings out something inside of you that you need to exter exercise. Like, for instance, if you never say I love you like that, you need to practice saying I love you. So practice saying I love you to your kids. Practice saying I love you to your parents. Practice saying I love you to your friends. Practice because it'll make it easier. Practice makes perfect. That's why I love the school of greatness because, yeah, it's good to be great on the outside. But what about the inside? What about you? If you never if you never express your emotions for somebody, express your emotions. Practice. Practice makes perfect because then when you practice, it will become easier. And then you'll just be saying, I love you all the time. Hey, I love you, bro. Hey, I love you, sis. <laughs> okay, so let me stop. Let me keep going. Be an active listener. When somebody's really expressing yourself to you, be literally listen to them. And give good feedback. Sometimes we just be like, mm hmm, okay. No, really listen to them. You know, when somebody's going through something, or even if you're talking on the phone, take the time to really be in present mode and really listen to that person instead of just it being all about you and your problems. Really take the, the time to listen to what they are saying. Be an active listener. Take a mindful walk. And that brings me back to this quote right here. Take a mindful walk. Take a look at what God has right outside of your house. Go to the mountains. Go camp, Go hiking. You know, go camping. Go to the park. Just take a mindful walk. Um, give a thoughtful gift. Give a thoughtful gift to somebody, whether you know them or not. I'm in this in this season where I'm giving gifts to people I don't know, because for me, the fact that I, I can give to people I don't know, um, I know I don't expect nothing back, right? So I'm not doing it to expect something back. I'm, I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart because I want you to feel good today, right? I'm just thankful that I have the means to be able to give, you know, and that's beautiful to me. Start a gratitude journal. This is very, very helpful for the people that um, stay in their head a lot. 
Start a gratitude journal. Write something positive, something amazing about yourself, something amazing about your day, something that you're thankful for that happened that day. If you have a problem, you know, being um, having those never enough attitude, having the all about me attitude, having the I deserve it attitude, start a gratitude journal and write something that you're thankful for every single day. I don't care what it is. Write it. Get it in your mind. Set it in your heart. Let it become a habit, right? We talked about habits in the past. Gratitude should be a habit. Praising God should be a habit. All right, one moment, guys. All right. Um, offer your help. Offer your help. You know, offering your help is um, it, it 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 will show how thankful the other person is for you. So then there's an exchange of thankfulness, and cook something that you love. Just being able to cook something that you love um, feeds your heart and being thankful to eat. All right, so that is it um, for the pillar of thankfulness. I hope that was good. I hope that um, helped you a little bit. Um, definitely helped me and I hope you root it in you. It's all about rooting it in us so we continue on our journey faithfully, righteously, and um, healthy, right? And I just want to continue to lift you up in prayer, whoever is watching this, that you will persevere. You will, you will make it. And um, I know this. <laughs> so uh, I want you to have an amazing rest of your week. I'll see you guys May 1st, if the Lord says the same, because I'm really, really just super, super busy all the time. <laughs> so thank you, God, uh, for letting me be able to speak your, your wisdom. Um, and I love you. And I love you guys, whoever is watching as well. Have a great day. Peace.